Hey everyone, we are celebrating our fifth anniversary at Novation Title, and I thought, what a fun way to celebrate it, to just share a little bit of the story of how Novation Title was started. And some of you may have heard this in the past, but uh, you know, for about a four-year period, I really believed in creating something that was so much bigger than what I had experienced in my own world within the title insurance industry. And I had all these ideas and all of these all of this vision behind creating something that really focused back on the people. And I was sitting at an airport, it was in Denver. I was on my way to a NAREP conference, actually. I was about to write down my pros and cons, whether I should continue on the path I was on or whether I should finally launch everything that had been in my mind for so long. Before I could write down anything, I just had this overwhelming feeling come over me. And then I just started crying because I knew that that was the moment I needed, that was just intuitively, I knew this was something bigger than me and I knew I just needed to go for it. That's how Innovation Title started. And then as far as the name, because often people ask, it's really two words combined. It's innovation and it's also supernova because I really wanted to disrupt this industry and come in with a bang. Um, so that's the name, that's how the name came about. And the bird was because in the Denver airport, in that moment, a bird came up and he stood right next to me. And then it was so interesting that it was like that, that exact same moment and it just flew away. So to me, the bird means freedom. Um, and it means to just take off with your wings, whatever it is, what you really desire in life. Also to celebrate the five years, I thought it'd be a great opportunity for me to just share maybe some of the challenges, some of the lessons, and some of the successes that I've learned throughout this five years of entrepreneurship and running a business, so that if it can help you, then that's amazing. Uh, the first one would, I would say is vision. Having a really big vision and big enough and passionate enough so that your team can see their dreams and their goals also coming to life within that platform. And so, and creating that space for everyone. And that's so much fun. And I would say that that's something that I definitely have, that I'm a big visionary. Uh, number two is hiring really good talent. And sometimes that means that they know way more about a certain aspect of the business than you. And that's okay. That's the people I want to attract. Those are the people that I want on my team. Something very important is that they align with your values and they align with your culture because I've hired people that have not based on their skill set and it has not worked out so well for me. Number three is having the right leadership and having present leadership in the office. There was a moment where both me and my team leader were not physically in the office as consistent and the bad apples really took over and uh, you know it spreads really, really fast. So uh, definitely having leadership present is very important. Number four, empowering the people, empowering them to have the freedom to really step into their role and have ownership of that. Not micromanaging, you really have to trust people and letting them know that they can do their role exceptional and their ideas and masterminding in regards to how to make it better it has been very, very successful at our company. Um, and probably the last little tip I would give is to continue innovating. You know, I think often people and entrepreneurs and business owners are always focusing on what other people are doing right or wrong. And if you can take all of that energy and just put it into how you grow and creating and innovating, that's going to serve you and take you way further than worrying about what everyone else is doing or not doing. So um, that would be what I would say my tips would that I can give to you uh, to hope, hopefully help you in this process of you running your business or being a team leader, whatever that may be. And just to end everything today, I just wanna share my, my gratitude and I feel so blessed for my team. You know, I, I feel like I have the best team I've ever had. Um, and it, it's just so beautiful to, to watch and how everyone just comes together. And um, I just couldn't do this without you guys. And I'm so grateful for all of our clients uh, that have supported us throughout this whole journey or for a part of the journey. And of course, anyone that has stepped a foot into our doors to refinance, you know, build wealth, 
or to go through this home buying process. I'm just so grateful for it all and I feel extremely blessed. I hope that you can feel that from the bottom of my heart. This journey has been incredible, uh, amazing, challenging, heartbreaking, so fun, so successful and everything in between. So just much gratitude. Thank you so much and we will be seeing you in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. I'm excited and grateful. Thank you so much.